Hello everyone. My name is Asma Channa and I'm a PhD student enrolled in University of Polytechnica Bucharest and University of Mediterranean of Regio Calabria, Italy. Our research article title is Managing COVID-19 Global Pandemic with High-Tech Consumer Variables, a Comprehensive Review. Let's first start with the outline. I will first go through the introduction and motivation of our research study. Then I will discuss about the role of variables in COVID-19 pandemic. And then we will move towards the role of early detection algorithm technology on medical images for COVID-19 monitoring. And discuss about the role of smart chatbots in COVID-19 pandemic. And finally, we will move towards the conclusion of this research study. Let's start with the introduction. As we know that the novel coronavirus, officially known as COVID-19, immediately spread all through the world and has changed our day-by-day -day lives and the manner in which we communicate with each other. According to the Worldometer, 213 countries and territories around the globe are infected with this virus. Taking into account the likely danger of pandemic, researchers and doctors are hustling to comprehend this new deadly virus and pathophysiology of this disease to reveal conceivable treatment regimens and find viable vaccine and antibodies. The main objective of this study is to provide an inside contribution of e-health wearable devices and high-tech research and consumer devices to tackle with COVID-19 pandemic. This paper is divided into three sections. The section two deals with the role of wearable sensors and devices in COVID-19 pandemic. Section three illustrates the adoption of early detection by means of applying machine learning algorithms on medical imaging data for diagnosis and progression of COVID-19 infected patients. And the last section four explains the role of smart shade boards in COVID-19 pandemic. Let's first start with the role of wearables in COVID-19 pandemic. The main function of wearables is to sense, analyze, store, transmit, and apply. But that depends on the application domain, wearer, and the processing of data collected. In previous research studies, the researchers come up with the conclusion that wearables can identify abnormal physical signs. Like in research number 14, a sighted blow, a wearable device named Fitbit is used that collects resting heart rate and sleep data and successfully evaluates if the subject has influenza, which is a respiratory infection. So according to the latest study developed by the researcher in research study number 12, the clinical symptoms are illustrated in figure one which are well-defined form of three phases. In stage one, there's an early infection. In stage two, there's a pulmonary phase. And in stage three, there's a hyperinflammation phase. And all these symptoms in these stages are different from each other. The common physiological symptoms, for example, such as temperature, heart rate, heart rate variability, blood pressure, heart rhythm, respiratory rate, oxygen saturation, sleep, it, um, and uh, for them, the different sensor modalities are used, which are temperature sensor, ECG, PPG sensor, astrometer, mechanical or piezoelectric sensing. And they are very helpful in tracking the physiological metrics. For example, change or, uh, or increase in uh, temperature, decrease in heart rate, high blood pressure, increase in dry cough, ETC. Today, the newest wearable serves wearables serving as tipping point to fight with this pandemic are Apple Watch, Whoop, Garmin, Huawei Smartwatch, Strap, Fitbit, ETC, and there are many other devices which are listed in, in table number two. These all devices have the ability to track the resting heart rate, electrocardiogram, sleep duration, core temperature, and other physiological symptoms for COVID-19 virus. This table two shows some available commercial wearable devices for COVID-19 detection. 
the first column uh, defines the number of devices. For example, Fitbit Charge, Fitbit INA, Fitbit Versa, Biostrap, Garmin, Forerunner, Kinza, Aura, Whoop, Huawei Smartwatch. And uh, they are available in different form factor. For example, in wrist monitor, arm sleeve, contactless in bed, epidermal page is in arm bands, is a ring in form of uh, clip or belt, socks, and uh, these are capable of detection of different physiological parameters such as heart rate, activity, sleep duration, respiratory rate, skin temperature, coughing, sneezing, stress, and breathing, which are uh, the main um, physiological parameter for the detection of COVID-19. And these all wearable devices are available in commercial market and their prices are mentioned here. And uh, this table shows uh, current clinical trials using wearable sensors to monitor and measure physiological metrics relevant to COVID-19. Let's discuss about the role of early detection algorithm technology on medical images for COVID-19 monitoring. The early detection algorithm has been proposed in research number 51 to detect and alert the users before the appearance of clinical symptoms using the wearable devices. When using wearable devices for detection of early infections, EDA gives the opportunity of self-isolation, adoption of care or diagnostic testings, and the possible way out to further diffuse the infection. Furthermore, the use of wearables can also be extended to the distance diagnosis in mild cases by distance vital collection, resulting in the conservation of sensitive hospitals resources and simultaneously minimize the probability of further diffusion to front end health workers as an alternative method of face to face diagnosis. The artificial intelligence empowered image acquisition and processing techniques can significantly be applied on these medical images. The recent research works and the results are illustrated in table four. This table shows the different medical imaging technique for correct diagnosis and monitoring of COVID-19 patients. For example, uh, different medical images can be used in the form of X-ray images, CT scan, brain MRI, lung ultrasound, etc. And different uh, researchers have used these images, build different artificial intelligence models, for example, using machine learning algorithms and deep learning algorithms. These models are in form of what they have used in form of convolution neural network, Google Net, ResNet, and uh, uh, our, uh, um, they have used by default available algorithms and um, use these images and find out uh, uh, the detection and the tracking of uh, uh, COVID-19 patients uh, progression in severity level. And the, the results are very nice. The accuracy and the sensitivity uh, they have achieved around 98.66%, 96.46%. Uh, you can see this in this table four. They discuss about the role of smart chatbots in COVID-19 pandemic. Regularly, we are besieged by reports about the loss of lives, this COVID-19 turning as a suicide epidemic. And so COVID-19 also created mental health crisis and brings long-term con uh, long consequences to our mental health. With the ongoing use of wearable devices in this havoc of COVID-19, the use of chatbots with the help of artificial intelligence can manage different situations caused by mental health crisis. For example, in Research 63, the authors developed a chatbot named Apka Chikitsak on Google Cloud Platform, using a natural language processing to give free basic information about the physical visits to doctors, also, also helps in the assistance of the stress and depression of the patients. And this is the final conclusion of uh, our research. In this comprehensive review study, an overview of high-tech consumer variables are discussed, which can possibly measure physiological symptoms remotely. The scope of variables against COVID-19 is very broad. Variables can also be used to monitor the condition of patients under quarantine. Not just the variables were discussed, but we also committed on the role of artificial intelligence combined with medical imaging technologies such as x-ray, CT scan, ultrasound, and MRI. 
The use of machine learning or deep learning algorithms on real-time images provide more accurate results instantly and reveals the severity and urgency of patients need to be addressed. In last, we depicted the solutions for the people who are under stress and facing mental health issues because of this pandemic. The chat ports seem to be very attractive and efficient when they correlate with their virtual therapist or virtual doctor. This might be helpful to control their mental stress and depression. We authors are very grateful for the funding from the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research Innovative Program under the Marie Curie Grant Agreement. That's everywhere. These are some references which we have cited in our article. Thank you for your attention.